Hello, it's Garth, and today we're going to be cleaning up this old cereal mouse that I found at a valley village. Currently it has a cereal to parallel adapter on it, which I find pretty interesting. And it doesn't really look that aesthetically appealing, so let's just start taking it apart. So let's start taking this mouse apart. First thing I do is take out the little bowling bomb. There we go, put that there. Now by the looks of it, there's three screws on the bomb that we have to take out. Okay. Oh, yep, it just lifts apart. Okay. I'm pretty sure this dress reach strength just comes apart. And then we have that plastic casing and the main circuit board. A lot of wires coming off of here. That capacitor looks pretty grody. Yeah, I'm just going to go by the rule of don't touch anything that you don't have to and just get the plastics clean. For any of you that care to know the mall number and stuff, there you go. Now, looks like this is fairly cheaply made because this is glued here and I don't really feel like re-gluing anything tonight so why don't we just go to the sink and wash up all these bits here just like the plastics and leave the board alone okay now I'm gonna wash all the plastics and stuff just using some regular dish washing detergent stuff and eh, steel walls too hard. This mildly abrasive scrubber. Have to go through this. I am truly surprised that a used Valley Village ball mouse. It's actually relatively clean on the inside, like anything I thought would just be like completely disgusting. But clearly someone cleaned it before donating it. So kudos for whoever donated it. Okay, let's go focus on that sort of grody looking cord now. Okay, let's just see what we could do about this sort of grody looking cord with some nail polish remover. remover. And then also wipe down this cereal, the parallel adapter. that stuff over there is drying, I just want to say a quick thing about my Patreon page. My Patreon page is now up at www.patreon.com slash poofy53, P-O-O-F-Y 53. You can pledge money to me and help improve the overall quality of the channel. We're in this together. Okay, now it's time for the video that you all been waiting for. A red hot thousand degree knife slicing through a computer mouse. No, that's not what my channel's about. Okay, it's been like some time. And this is like relatively dry enough. I won't be using this mouse like anytime soon, so I think I'm safe. 
So let's start putting it back together. Yay, I'll get our plastic bits. Okay, now I have all our plastic bits and we can start putting this back together. Now, as of right now, February 26th, it's past midnight, February 26th, 2017, I do not have a computer I could actually use that has neither a serial or parallel port, so we're sort of, we're sort of out of luck there. Maybe I could, like, get a parallel USB adapter and use it on my iMac, and that would be, like, adapterception because you have the serial going into parallel, into USB. Wonder which one's easier to find, uh, parallel the USB or serial the USB? I bet serial the USB. <clears throat> so that has been that has been uh, O Q Qtronics Corporation <clears throat> mouse mall number. Zero one, I mean zero two one <coughs> zero four zero. Wait, no, that's the zero number. Dang it. The mall is X dash twenty M. This is just a quick little, like, on the side video. I have bigger projects going right now. But yeah. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a good time. Bye.